But maybe I could. Oh, they banned Scion. I like to try Scion top lane, actually. Dude, am I, am I really gonna have to main jungle? The only game I've won with jungle. Actually, I just lost both the Scion games. I think that's, that's pretty much it. Hmm. Okay, let me switch these runes real quick. Uh, I need armor. Magic pen, AP, armor. Yeah, that's great. Excellent. I've been meaning to try Victor top lane, and so this game looking like a really, really good test of that. Ooh, spell weaving actually would not be bad. Uh, where would I get a point off, though? Where did I mess up? I don't need spell weaving. Yeah, that's fine. So I've seen uh, Entranced build this guy in its first Victor upgrade into Rylai's into Zhonya's. I think that'd be good. Uh, maybe it gets... Yeah, yeah, I think that's really, really good, actually. Let me move my chat over real quick. I don't think Sion could ever split either. The problem with Sion is that he doesn't actually pressure turret well. Like, uh, he's not like a Jax. He doesn't bring ultra damage. He, like, he can shove, but he can't do anything but roam. And he even doesn't have the roaming factor because his stun's a lot weaker than the old Sion. Like, at least the old Sion could shove and run, but this Sion is like, he doesn't have the ability to dive either. Uh, at all, 1v1. So there's no way he could ever be a split pusher. He has to be, a, like, a team fight threat. Or, like, a skirmish threat. And he's never going to be good at team fighting. He just, I mean, he's he may be more enjoyable to play because his his kit is a little bit more fun. But to be honest, he's just not good. He he has the same problems as he always has. It's like the reason why people don't play Udyr competitively is because Udyr can get kind. And Udyr has like a lot of gap closers and like CC and stuff. And even then, he's not really seen that much. Lifestyle GB, thank you for subscribing as well. Uh. I'm just gonna go. Yeah, I think I just rush. Okay, so he went CDR boots this, and I actually. Let me pull up his match history, actually. I trust him a lot more than I trust myself when it comes to top lane victory. Man, my team's just flaming me. What the heck? Uh, holy shit, the Victor stats are insane. Uh, where on earth is Victor? I need to see his match history. Uh, what on earth? How can he do this? He runs Zanya's. Rylai's... Okay, well, I'm gonna be getting uh, the, the first upgrade of this and never upgrading it anymore. And then finishing off CDR boots plus... How does he get enough CDR to do what he does? Oh, it's because he goes Grail half the games. How does he do these item builds? Whatever. I don't, I don't know. I, I kind of get the gist of it now. But, okay, so you pretty much always start with Q because it gives you a shield as well.
think he's exactly the same as old Victor. Does less damage early though. I'm okay getting shoved in. Uh, I didn't auto me there. I'm, I'm doing really well in the lane so far. What the heck? I missed both the CS. As soon as I say that, I jinx myself. Oh, holy shit, the damage. He's not gonna hit three anytime soon. I'm not too afraid. He's actually more intimidating in his range form than he is in his other form. Yeah, the Q is that, okay. I still got the CS there. Is that a pots? Ooh, I missed that. I just, like, I'm keeping the wave at a great spot for me. He backed. My wave's just shoving. Dude, all these anti-mids are, like, crushing my team. I think I'm going to point the W here. I'm not quite sure. Huh. Three pots. I want to get enough for the first upgrade and then back. Okay, maxing Q first. Because uh, the CDR decreases, and especially if you upgrade Q first, it's like. Pay a little to how you play this the top lane, I feel. I moved up there because uh, as soon as you use your, your Q, it's like a 3 second cooldown where you can't do anything mid, mid lane's gonna be camped. Oops. A one of those, that's not good. Uh, he freezes the wave. I was good by him to do that though. I'm up 10 CS, but um, like that could I could get swung on really easily, uh, depending on what happens. And so I need to be uh, careful. Let me go ahead and move up and then play, play, place this pink here. I think with this, it gives you enough mana to not need a do another Dorans or any kind of mana sustain. And I can put pressure picking this. Nice. Ow. Hit six. I'm gonna hit six on this wave as well. You be a little bit careful. He's about to. He's half. I'm looking at his rage right now. That's the number one thing you need to do if you're playing against Nar. You just watch his his rage. If I have to, I'm willing to Q creep to run away faster. There. He's changing one more auto. Yeah, he's changing. Back that completely. Okay. 
pop one pot. Ooh, nice. Good damage. You pretty much just want to keep trading with Qs. You see my mana isn't that bad. Okay, well this is going to be a little bit interesting. Okay. I should just keep that up. Oh my god. That's smart. The TP was really, really smart. Man, ugh, getting dubbed like that so sucks. Absolutely sucks. Yeah, I just have to concede the the wave. Like it was so huge though. I was, I knew she would should go around on me. The thing is, I. I can I can outplay the Annie one on one for sure because my Q gives me like a hundred shield give or take. The thing I couldn't outplay was the TP. Uh, that was like not possible. Oh, it's shoving in the other direction too. That's fun. Can't do anything there. Is this shopping the other? Yeah, it is. Kind of. Function over four. He's about to go in rage, so I need to be careful here. Dude, mid lane Annie's just keep going up. Oh, she went distortion. Holy shit. Double the. Is pushing back to me. Have quite quite good stuff or something built up. Holy shit! Holy shit! I can't do anything, dude. This Annie is like crushing me. Speed allows me to get out of range, so I can still uh, go positive in trades. What is that ping mean? I have a ward. Am I getting a gank from behind my jungle? That would be nuts. So I don't have much mana left, so essentially all I'm doing is just queuing. The wave is frozen in such a way that it's really hard for this guy to get any pressure on me. Okay, well, unless. Oh my goodness. How do I? <laughs> oh god. I'm getting involved here by this Annie. Annie 
Annie is 6 0. Or 4 0, 6. This Annie is like literally one. This Annie is one man carrying this game. It's ridiculous. She went. She rushed Moby's distortion. Zero damage items, and she was able to not only lane but come out ahead like 4 0. That's ridiculous. Um, by building two pieces into Rylai's right now, I think that'll help me out a lot. I, I didn't go CDR there, boots there because I felt like CDR was wasn't worth it. Right now, I really need levels. That's that'll help me out a lot. Yeah, if, if Annie is top, I just back out. Oh, Annie's there. Good. Yeah, okay, no, this is fine. I, I can do this in my, sp my spare time. And of course I use a little bit of mana for this. Okay, the TP. I don't think that TP would get them anything. It did. It's really good. So I max E second because it's my only other damage ability and W doesn't do anything. Only the CDR decreases like the slow increases or something, but effectively it's useless to, to max second. Okay, Jarvan in the top. So I have my giant spell now, which is really, really big. Ugh, 400 away, right, from my actual thing? There's no way. As soon as I get rallies, I can do a lot more work. With utmost efficiency. Just give that up. That's one hit on the on the turret. Really good collapse. Metal is perfection. I just need to shut this all the way in, and I go back to buy the allies.
Yeah, I actually don't know. I don't, don't think he is flash, actually. I'm not sure. Maybe. Maybe. Hmm. It's, it's weird. Yeah. I, 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 I'm not sure. That's okay. I have uh, Rallies now, which is my core. And I just need to get some CDR to help me out. Uh, right now, only 2.5. So CDR boost will help out a lot. I don't know how they get the other... I don't think I can actually itemize for the other 20% because... It's either I go Morello's instead of like Zhonya's or Death Cap or something awkward. Something really awkward. Pretty much... Uh, I was constantly looking at mid lane because... It's really, really important for me to TP correctly here. Because Nar hasn't been able to get any farm in a while. Oh my god. I don't have mana. Oh my god, I ran him. God, we actually lost that. Ah, I have mana. It sucks that I have an ulti there either. I wasn't able to get Janna either because she flashed. Victor's top beat has, has become a thing because I think one person's been spamming, in trance has been spamming a shitload. But the biggest reason why is it's always really hard to find carries. Uh, with AP magic damage carries from top lane, those that's like a really really rare um, thing, like extremely rare. I just zoned them off with a W. <laughs> we have a ward in there, so it seemed like the Sivir did like some weird stuff. Yeah, Rise, Lulu, Rumble. Lulu got nerfed like almost to the point where he's not really played much anymore. Um, Rumble and Rise, I do agree. But even then, if that's the only ones you can list, I feel pretty bad because that's not a lot. Well, I'm bones. Oh my goodness. I should have known he was going to be right. Oh my god. Yeah, I should have just known he was coming. Uh, do I need MR? 
I feel like this guy is a huge threat, but I don't know if he'll ever... If he ever focuses me, I feel like everyone else on my team it just goes to town. I don't think I'm going to get it. Uh, with that blue, I could have done a lot, but... <laughs> Unfortunately, I lo I died with it like instantly. Actually, this is a good time for me to pick up distortion. When you get um, I don't think I'm gonna get any more items that are more core than me than these three. Uh, and distortion helps a lot just being by being able to keep your summoners down. Like you can make a lot more plays if you have TP up. Fortunately, I go through quite a bit of mana doing that. Ooh, and he was bot, okay. Oh, nice, I have enough AP barely to get the, the range minions. Nice, nice. Am I getting collapsed on? The answer being yes. No, no, no. Okay, I finally broke it. Mark, do I need to buy? Fine, slow her. No. Alright. Alright. I got enough for a large rot though. I, I just don't do enough damage right now. I'm just trying to think if I should be going uh for it. Cause this is ridiculous like this is legitimately ridiculous. I think Void just might be better. I'm gonna get Large Rot though, because I have enough gold for it, and it's very rare I'm gonna get gold for Large Rot. I think it's a better option. It also built into like Death Cap and stuff like that. I don't, you don't you, when you're top lane you never run upgrade a hex tech because the other upgrades just aren't worth it. Like it's not worth to spend two k potentially just when you can just rather get void because void is just a better buy. We need a... 
deity and not Victor. Like, we need, a uh, one of the other people. Oh my god. Okay, well. Close enough. I have my death cap now, which is really, really good. I feel like I'm being gated by mana quite a bit on this champ. It's, it's, it's awkward because his mana pool is extremely large. It's mainly just, just that his uh, Q cooldown is so short that I run into a lot of problems. No, I, it's not about more max mana. I need like mana sustain. Like max mana is nice, I guess. This guy's dead. Please come back. All right, we're good. Victory. I thought that was. Hmm. I can definitely see Victor's strength though. Like he's actually pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and play some ads. I'll be back in three minutes, guys. <laughs> 